Oh hey, it's Rob. Back in the kitchen, and this time I'm going to be installing some backsplash tile. Uh, I think it's probably going to be one of the last things that uh, I do in the kitchen. I think I have one more fairly big kitchen remodel project to go, but this is, we're coming toward the end. I also want to apologize a bit for the sound. Um, past couple of videos I've been trying to experiment with different mics and different mic placement and I'm trying something new again today so we'll see how this works. Uh, I'm trying to find what I like that can be relatively consistent that's still comfortable and catches everything and it's it's a lot harder than it looks. So what I'm going to be using for the tile are these. These are metal uh, peel and stick tile and they are they feel really nice. They look really nice. And I think for the ease of use of being able to put these on, I think it's going to spiff up the kitchen quite a bit. I'm not sure, but you know, I, in getting them and looking at them and how they fit in here, I think I really like the look. So I'm going to go with these. Now I have wiped down the walls with some uh, alcohol, some uh, denatured alcohol, or is it isopropyl? I don't even remember which, but uh, just to get any grease or any anything that's on, you know, any dust or anything that's on the walls and get them nice and clean and ready to go and let them dry. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the outlet covers because these go on, the outlet covers will go on over this, which will be interesting because these have preset places to cut. And I don't know that they're going to exactly match up with the outlets, but I guess we'll find out. And this has a peelable plastic over the top that I'll peel off once I get these uh, put in place. But, you know, the first thing I want to do is dry fit it into the corner and it's pretty good. Now there is a gap up here that you can, well, yeah, you can barely see it, but it's about, I don't know, two, maybe a little more than two inches. So I do have enough tile to cover this with this foot high. And I think I have enough pieces that I can go ahead and fill in <clears throat> this two inch space up here, but we'll see how that goes. So this first one looks like it's going to be pretty easy. This one, I mean, it fits up tight against here. It's tight against the counter. It's nice and square. It's almost like I installed it that way. And just peel. Get it in place. and stick. <sighs> yeah. So to mount this outlet, or to find out where it goes on this outlet, I want to try and find the score lines in here that are closest to where this goes. Now this top one is pretty easy because it's right in here that will be perfect for covering up this top plate. But down here, it's a little bit on the high side, so it interferes with the actual socket itself. So I'm going to have to do some trimming down here, which is coming in a little bit below this piece. And then to go to the vertical, Put this up against the side, and again we have a good. I don't know if I want to get in here, uh, we can go in about here and about here. So this is, I think, a good one. Now I have this area marked as to where I want this cut out, and uh, now I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Okay. 
All right, I have this piece cut out so that this can fit on here properly. And I'll uh, put it on. Oh, that's it catching. It is. Ah. Uh. All right, I'm going to back this screw out and screw it on over this just for the heck of it. But I can go back in, trim these pieces, and fit them back in here as I need. So let's get this mounted. So I'll still need to find one piece to go in here or cut one down from those pieces. The last piece on this side had a tiny bit of a quandary because it overlaps a little bit too far, but there is a nice cut line right down the middle so I can cut it to fit here and then there's this little bit left over. Uh, I have to figure out what to do about that, but uh, let's go ahead and cut this one down the middle. Alright, I'm going to call it quits for the night. Um, I've got most of the tile up. There are still bits and pieces that I need to cut and arrange to fully get in there and do it properly, but uh, I'm going to save that for another day because that's going to take a lot more detail work. Uh, I got the bulk of it done. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with how these things actually work. Um, you can't really see it from the front really well, but if you look, well, I guess you can't really see it from the back. These are divided into three by three inch squares. So you can cut these down into three by three inch pieces and fit it around most things. And what I've found to work really well is to make the cuts in those areas and then use the remaining pieces to piece together sort of Tetrisy bits that will fit in the holes that want to go. I've had to trim very few of these tiles going through, which is very nice. Also, I've discovered to peel off the plastic on the front before you really do anything with them because peeling it off after it's already up on the wall is a pain in the butt and it makes it difficult to get the pieces butted together. If you remove the plastic on the front, you can cut them apart much easier and they are much easier to work with. They're a little bit more flexible and everything seems to work better. So anyway, we pick this up tomorrow. The one thing that I uh, wanted to bring up a little bit is this, uh, how to put on these outlets. What I've realized is that I don't want to put these on over the top of this. I want to pull these out and make sure that the tiles go underneath of the edge of the metal piece that's on here. I can get this out. These are such a pain in the butt. <sighs> the remaining pieces that I have here are this area in here and the area underneath these, um, which are slightly different. This side is up higher than this side is, so that's a different piece. And then of course there's this strip down here that should be an inch. I hope it is, because that'll make it a lot easier. And then there's uh, over here, not entirely sure what I want to do with this yet, but we'll, uh, we'll take that as it comes. See that? bugs the OCD part of me. All right, it's another day and I am trying a different set of microphones this time. I'm still trying to figure out the whole audio situation. Um, I'll get it worked out, I hope, 
and I'll find a way to get some better audio. <laughs> Try it. Anyway, one of the issues that I've run into is here, if I want to go up straight to this board, these are then misaligned by, well, about a quarter of an inch is what it looks like. I can find out. I can actually get a micrometer out and put it on, but uh, yeah, I want to be able to get this so that it, it matches up like that. And uh, that's going to require some trimming. So I'm going to have to do that. Now the other thing I can do is go all the way over on this side and just build straight up and then cut a piece in there, which is what I might do. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably better to work from the inside out. And there's also, you know, the area up top here that I'm going to have to work out. So this is a lot more detail work than the original. <laughs> Almost exactly a quarter of an inch. Oops, I went the wrong way. I need to take more off to get it to match up. So, you know, it wasn't a quarter inch. I needed to take off three quarters of an inch, but let us go ahead and try this again to get an accurate measurement. Mm -hmm. A little more than half an inch, so. Alrighty, that is a much better fit. Although it's going to require some pushing of these little pieces over here, but yeah, that will work. I've cut a few of these one inch pieces out so that I can set up a runner along here, along the uh, top of the sink. And I'm going to go in from both ends. So what I want to do is I want to have a point that meets in the middle. That's sort of the join piece, because if that's a little bit off and I need to trim it, I kind of want it to be symmetrical to the sink and sort of hidden by the faucet. And indeed, I'm down to one piece that is not quite right. So I've got about an inch and a half in here. I wonder. Oh, sorry about that. Will I get lucky? Oh. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I do believe I got lucky on that one. All right, I gotta push these in a little bit. Make sure that they are properly stuck. But yeah, keystone piece is hidden right there. And that's not something that's going to be highly visible by uh, anyone unless they're looking for it. So I am pretty happy with that. By another crazy random happenstance, these uh, two inch pieces fit in here pretty well. And they leave a pretty insignificant gap there, so I think I'm going to use these in here. Mm -hmm. 
I ended up cutting a lot of uh, two inch runner pieces out of the tile so that I could stick them on quickly and uh, I think it does a pretty good job up there on the top. I did have to trim that end piece just a little bit but uh, I think that came out okay. And let's go with the last piece and see if it fits. Oh come on baby, come on. You can get it. You can get it. Okay. Yeah. So this is how it's looking. Uh, let's see if I can back up a little bit and get a wider shot. So I think that's not too bad. I think I'm okay with that. Let see what the, well, that is what the light turned on. I want more light in here, <laughs> but uh, you know, the dogs want to go outside, so I'm going to take them out. All right, here it is with the work lights turned off and everything else. I mean, the oven light is on, but uh, let me make sure I'm all the way out here. There we go. So here we go. This is with just the regular kitchen lights on. Um, I think that turned out pretty good. I'm a little bit wondering about these sides here. I kind of want to leave those, but I kind of want to change them. I don't really want to bring the, uh, the metal up into that space. I want to do something else with it, and I'm not sure what yet. But uh, there are some things that I don't like. I mean, I've got some, you know, some spacing in there that doesn't look very good. Uh, the edging on the bottom, I think I want to recock that in black. That corner, I don't know what I'm going to do with that corner. That's not, that's the worst part of the whole thing. But um, this little gap up in the top here, I'm not concerned about that. That's so invisible, unless you're super short. Uh, but... Yeah, I think that will probably do it for now. So the peel and stick metal tile, um, I like it a lot. Uh, it's easy to work with. The problem is when you're up against measurements that aren't straight or aren't exactly on one inch boundaries, um, you have to do some trimming and trimming takes quite a while and it's difficult to do well. I think a nice thing that would be good for this would be something like a, uh, a shear, a metal shear that could take off a nice straight edge without a lot of, uh, well, cutting it with the, with the metal shears is a little dicey. You don't get good clean edges, but it's really not that bad because usually that's going up against something else and probably could be hidden. There's probably better ways to do it. Um, there are some visible lines in between the tile squares that I'm not super excited about. But overall, I think I'm okay with it. So, well, that's it for this version. Uh, there is some more stuff coming up, but I think I might start putting back the appliances and see how it looks with the kitchen reassembled again. So, till next time. See you guys.
Ow. 